Well, hi dear students. Now welcome back to the next part of uh, differentiation. That is the continuation part of uh, where we left. That is differentiation of logarithmic functions. Okay. So now I hope all of you have watched the previous video. Otherwise, please stop this video and go back to the previous video and uh, see what all I have discussed there. Then come and watch this video. And you should have a pen and paper with you so that you can solve along with me. Okay. And also important thing is uh, whatever the basics I told you about logarithm in the last class, we need them in this class also. Well, now I can, I can see that I have y is equal to product of three functions. Okay. So what we'll do, we will take log on both sides. So we'll write uh, instead of differentiating with respect to x, we'll first take log on both sides. Take log on both sides. So what we'll get? Log of y is equal to log of whole thing. x plus 3 the whole square, x plus 4 the whole square, x plus 5 the whole square. This now log of y is equal to the basic is log of m into n is equal to log m plus log n. I have three fun functions with product. So those will be converted to addition. x plus 3 the square plus log x plus 4 the square plus log x plus 5 the square. So now this is log y is equal to log m raised to n. The basic is log m raised to n is equal to n into log m. So this comes this side. So 2 times log of x plus 3 plus 3 times sorry this is 3 this is 3 3 times log of x plus 4 plus this is 4 in fact this is 4 times log of x plus 5 now what I'll do is uh, now I'll go for the differentiation so differentiating with respect to x so this is 1 by y since we have y I'll write dy by dx 2 is constant derivative of log x basics d by dx of log x is 1 by x I hope all of you know this one from first year so now I'll hide x plus 3 so this will be 1 divided by x plus 3 and what I hide x plus 3 so derivative of x will be 1 and this will be 0 so 1 plus 0 1 we don't write that so similarly this will be 3 divided by x plus 4 and this will be 4 divided by x plus 5. In the last step what you have to do is you have to write dy by dx is equal to y. This y goes that side and this will be 2 divided by x plus 3 plus 3 divided by x plus 4 plus 4 divided by x plus 5. And you can write one more step wherein you can replace y, you can replace y with whatever the questions, question they have given. In some of the textbooks or even in NCRT, in the final answer, you can see that they will be replacing this y with a given question. I hope this is exactly the similar question that we solved in the last class. So please take the screenshot. Well, the next question is y is equal to log x raised to cos x. Again, you can see my difference function raised to function. So, we go for take log on both sides. Take log on both sides. So, what I will get? Log of y is equal to log of whole thing. That is log x raised to cos x and our basic says what very good the power should come towards the side so this is cos x into log of log x 
isn't it? Now see the power raised to power is reduced to power into the function, isn't it? So now we will go for differentiate. Differentiating with respect to x. This will be as usual 1 by y dy by dx. But what about this one now? Function into function. So we go for third rule that is product rule. So first function as it is derivative of second function. Let me write it in this way log of log x. I am writing this extra step for you. Only make sure that you should understand everything. Second function as it is into derivative of first function. I just applied product rule. Okay. So now cos x let me write as it is. Now I have to find derivative of log x. Log of log x. So we have already solved this one. How we do that? We hide log x. So what are we getting? Log x. So that will be 1 divided by log x. And the derivative of log x will be 1 by x plus log of log x and derivative of cos will be minus sin x. So this is 1 by y dy by dx. So in the last step we will send y that side. So dy by dx is equal to y times, we will write in a better way, this is cos x divided by x log x minus because plus into minus will be minus sin x into log of log x. I wrote the same thing but only this one. Adjusting this is first one. I wrote this one first and this one second. Okay? And the last step you can replace y with the given question. Again in this question what actually we have learnt is whenever we have function raised to function we take log on both sides so that the power function will come to the left. Okay? Then we can go for product rule. This is what we understood from this problem. So please take the screenshot. So the next question is y is equal to x raised to sin x plus sin x raised to cos x. This is very very important question. Please focus on this question correctly so that you can solve all the questions by yourself. Well, if I see this one, I will be having function raised to function and function raised to function. But the only problem for me is, I have plus sign here. If I take log on both sides, let's, let's assume, if I take log on both sides, what will happen? Log of x raised to sin x plus sin x raised to cos x, isn't it? If I take just log on both sides, do you think how, can we simplify this one? No, we cannot simplify because as I told you, I don't have the simplification for log m plus n. I don't have simplification for log m plus n. Only if I have log m into n, then I could have written it as log m plus log n. So a lot of students make mistake here. So just by taking uh, log on both sides does not going to help me in this case. So we need to make some adjustment. So adjustment in this one will be, so what I'll do is, I will write let y is equal to, I'll take this one as u and this one as v. So I have taken the first function that is x raised to sin x as u and sin x raised to cos x as v. Now if I differentiate this above equation with respect to x, what I'll doing is dy by dx is equal to, this will be du by dx plus dv by dx. Yes, you are right. So what I want to do now is, what I want to do now is, we are going to take, we will call as equation number 1, we will call as equation number 1. Now we will take separately, that is u is equal to x raised to sin x and we will solve it separately. That is, we will take log on both side. Take log on both side. So I will be having log of u is equal to log of x raised to sin x. So now this is log of u is equal to sin x 
into log x isn't it because this comes this side so now i will go for differentiating with respect to x so this will be 1 by u du by dx and here product rule very good first function as it is and derivative of second function will be 1 by x plus second function as it is into derivative of first function will be cos x. Now what we will do? We will take u on the other side. So this will be du by dx is equal to u times sin x by x plus log x into cos x. So now I hope you are understanding the points. So now what I will do is I will replace u with what is u? u is x raised to sin x so this is x raised to sin x and this will be sin x by x plus log, log x into cos x. So this is the first case. So what we did? We took u and we differentiated it and we got du by dx. Now we can observe we got this answer, isn't it? Now what we'll do is, we'll take v, that is, now v is equal to sin x raised to cos x. Again, take log on both sides. So what you'll get? Log v is equal to, this cos x comes to this side, so this will be cos x into log of sin x. I skipped one step. I hope you understood that. Isn't it? Now I'll go for differentiating with respect to x. So this will be 1 by v dv by dx which is equal to again product rule first function as it is derivative of second function. Derivative of second function. I have to hide sin x. So this will be 1 by sin x and derivative of sin x will be very good that will be cos x plus second function as it is into derivative of cos will be minus sin x so v goes that side so dv by dx is equal to v into cos square x divided by sin x minus sin x into log of sin x isn't it? Now we will write dv by dx. This v is v is sin x raised to cos x. So this is sin x raised to cos x. In the bracket, we will be having cos square x divided by sin x minus sin x into log of sin x. So what we'll do now is in the last step, what you have to do is dy by dx is equal to du by dx. The answer is ready here. So we'll write the, we'll write the whole thing here plus dv by dx. That's what we got here. We write these both in this equation and that's our answer. So if this question comes for the exam, this will come for 5 mark. Well, the next question is y raised to x is equal to x raised to y is equal to find dy by dx. Well, again you can see y is a function. I told you earlier also. Function raised to function and function raised to function. So, remember there is no plus and minus in this case. So, directly we will go with take log on both sides. Take log on both sides. So what we'll be having? Log of y raised to x is equal to log of x raised to y. And the basics, x comes this side. So this will be x of log y is equal to y into log x. Now we'll go for differentiation. Differentiating with respect to x. Yeah, first function as it is log y. 1 by y 
and y is dy by dx plus second function as it is derivative of x is 1 which is equal to y as it is <coughs> again product rule log x will be 1 by x plus second function as it is into derivative of x uh, y will be dy by dx well now let's take dy by dx on one side so dy by dx i'll take common i'll write here i have x by y and this whole dy by dx log x terms come this side and i have taken dy by dx common so this will be log x and this is y by x and log y into 1 goes that side that will become minus log y so now dy by dx is equal to y by x minus log y whole divided by x by y minus log x this is your answer well with this one i'll so i'll finish off this uh, differentiation of logarithmic functions because most of the questions are exactly similar uh, similar uh, so i don't think uh, i'll i'll solve them uh, you you try them and if at all you get any difficulties please uh, write in the comment box or you can contact me anytime so that i can help you so in the next class i'm going to deal with differentiation of parametric functions which is again a very important concept uh, which is going to help you a lot of time in um, application of derivatives chapter also so uh, please make sure that you see this video and practice all the questions from ncrt textbook so that we can see the parametric questions and we can solve them easily in the coming video till then take care and bye